Hi, this is Dan Whitney with the Whitney Law Firm in Towson, Maryland. Today we're going to talk about the issue of severe bed bug infestations in hotels. So I've been an attorney for over 10 years. Um, among other practice areas, what I am significantly involved in is bed bug litigation against landlords, property managers uh, for hotels and apartments. Now, recently we had a, a case come in the door that's interesting. A out-of-town couple came into Maryland and they stayed in a hotel in Baltimore. And after the first night, um, the woman woke up severely bitten by bed bugs with itchy red bites all across her body. And obviously this is not supposed to happen. And this was one of the, uh, I'll say one of the three largest hotel brands in the world. And they certainly know better. They have a protocol they're supposed to follow. And she was severely bitten. So what did she do? She uh, did the right thing. She called down to the front desk. She filled out an incident report. And the manager came up and helped her get out of the room. She ended up leaving that day. And what happened next was the hotel actually hired um, a large pest control company to come in and inspect the room several days later. So what happened is significant. After the, the inspection company comes in, uh, their pest control report states there's a variety of life cycles of bed bugs and there were over 30 live bed bugs found in the room which as an attorney, knowing what hotels are supposed to do, what their procedures are and what the standards of care are, which are no bed bugs in a room you're gonna put somebody in, it's an easy one. It is shocking that a large hotel chain would allow a room infested with over 30 bed bugs to be uh, rented out to the general public. So the amount of 30 bed bugs in a room um, can tell somebody a lot. What that means is uh, there are no housekeeping inspections being performed, or at least no legitimate uh, housekeeping inspections being performed uh, between the guests, uh, between guest turnover, or even if a guest is staying for several days, even just cleaning on a daily basis. If there are 30 bed bugs in a room, housekeeping is going to find them either under the mattress, perhaps on the curtains, the corners of the uh, the box spring, the headboard is a is certainly a hot spot for bed bug infestations. But if if nobody is finding or at least finding and reporting such a severe infestation, that tells me that their uh, compliance and housekeeping staff are probably severely overworked, which happens all the time, uh, and management is probably not focusing significantly on the issue of bed bug infestation, which is known to be a huge problem in the industry. Now, the significance of the pest control report where it talked about different stages of life cycles is significant too. So bed bugs have multiple stages of life cycles. And the significance of finding all of those life cycles in, say, an apartment or a hotel room means that those bed bugs have been present for weeks and are able to go through their life cycles from nymph to a fully grown adult and everything in between over these weeks. And what happens is that tells me that for at least weeks, no housekeeper or no other person inspecting um, has been going into that room and doing anything close to uh, an inspection to determine whether or not the room is safe and sanitary to rent out to new guests. So when a case like this comes in, the first thing you want to do, or among the first things you want to do, is you want to make sure you demand that the hotel provides to you all their housekeeping records, uh, you want all the pest control records for the whole hotel, and same for housekeeping. And you also want to find out who are the prior guests who stayed in that room for, say, the last three, four, five, six weeks. Because in a situation like this, what you most inevitably end up finding is you get the names of the guests. You usually got to fight in court to get it, but you get it, and you get their contact information, and you reach out, and you ask them, did you have any issues when you stayed in Hotel X? And, you know, certainly certainly more than a few times we'll get a call back and say oh i stayed in room you know 300 and i had a horrible experience i got bitten by bed bugs i sent a uh, an email or I, I discussed with the manager this terrible problem and you know x y or z happened usually they get ignored so when you find some information like that what you can do is then you you cross reference with the housekeeping records and the pest control record and you, and you are able to say okay a, a prior guest reported a problem to you on, you know, three weeks ago on, say, April 1st. Our people were put in the room on May 1st. 
However, I see no pest control record showing that you guys did absolutely anything in that month, which means these people were bit and you just kept throwing guests into that room, allowing them to be bitten. And finally, it was my client who made her way here and she was severely bitten and now she's seeking compensation. So if you're ever in a situation where you find a severely infested hotel room and you've been badly bitten, definitely pay attention to how many bugs you can see and certainly take photos and videos to preserve the evidence uh, and certainly do your best to get your hands on an incident report uh, or even the pest control report that will be issued if the hotel calls somebody uh, and if you can find or have the evidence of multiple bugs in the room especially multiple life stages you've just done yourself a great service uh, as far as collecting evidence that will bring you a very strong case to show that the hotel either knew or should have had which is constructive notice, knew or should have had notice um, of the severe infestation before they put you in, which will greatly uh, help uh, any potential claims that you might bring. So I hope that's been helpful. Um, if you've enjoyed the video and, and found it to be useful, please leave a thumbs up uh, and subscribe. Also, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them and I'll respond if I can. Uh, thank you for watching and take care.